Hey, all I can say is don't ever, don't ever think there's not heart and passion um, in this club, um, determination. Look, they, they, I've said it before, they never believe they're out of any single game. No matter the score, no matter the situation, no matter who's on the mound, they find they can continue to amaze me every single night with things they do, how they do it. Um, incredible. Uh, look, and fitting for <clears throat> Rugnet to be the guy that, that did it, coming off of a couple of base running situations where he was aggressive, trying to make things happen, backfired on him. <clears throat> and for him to, I, I think the, the, the biggest. <clears throat> pitch of the night for him was laying off the slider right before the that pitch and, and, and that, that's a pitch that we've seen him chase that's a pitch we've seen him swing at and miss or roll over to the second baseman but uh, what a great what a great at bat what a great at bat by by Beltray look there were some terrific at bats all night long but uh, just incredible all the way around Rugnet talked about afterward about the, the little love tap from Adrian and immediately kind of got a little bit emotional talking about the things that Adrian's taught him. Just what is he like? Is it so emotional and so, um, but yet so willing to listen and learn and to have that talent and be able to also have that aspect to your game. How valuable is that to him as a player? Oh, it's, it's incredible. Uh, invaluable, really. Um, Adrian just the wealth of experience, how he communicates with, with those young guys and how he's able to translate the information and, and for a guy like Rugi to, to go ahead and put some of those things in play. Um, it's, it's invaluable to, to this club, uh, to these guys. Uh, they're, they're learning from a guy that uh, has done just about all there is to do in, in the game. and. He has a, a way of, of helping calm situations down for some of these guys out on the field uh, and in the dugout. So uh, what, it, it goes back to these guys being talented. Uh, you're right. They're talented. They, they're skilled. They, and, and because if you're not, you, you're incapable of, of doing things like that and, and using that information to go out and, and produce. Jeff, in a sense, did that comeback start in the eighth when you made uh, Diaz throw 24 pitches? I think so. Look, it's it's hard to get six outs for a save. It's extremely difficult. And uh, I, I think our guys uh, making him work, uh, obviously that uh, he was had, I think, the first couple outs and, and seven pitches. It was, and for our guys to, to, to continue to battle away uh, and put 20 more on him and uh, and have him go back out there a after that inning. I obviously, uh, probably not as sharp as as he was in the first. So, uh, but yet, look, he's still a, a dangerous pitcher. He's done it before. He's gone out there in those situations. I believe they've used him in that type of situation. He's been successful. So, uh, you know, w we felt good with uh, Beltran at the plate there with two outs, and we still f still felt good going in. If we could keep it to a one run game, we. Uh, which Bush did a fabulous job coming off of <clears throat> an inning where he was challenged. And then, uh, again, we backtrack a little bit. and We can talk about Claudio again because if, if he doesn't do what he, he did tonight, we're not, we're not in this situation. It, it's just he, he continues to step up and do big things for us. So were, you, were you upset when Odor got thrown out in, on that single was I upset? Um, I, I, I don't. Tr. I don't get upset. Um, there, there are. There are. Look, it's a, it's a guy trying to make a baseball play. Uh, he, he's aggressive. We know that. We love that about him. We. There is a, a certain margin of error in in, in some situations, and um, it's just it, it's a play that uh, is right in front of him. He he felt like he could get there. Uh, outfielder made a great play on him and. And threw him out. I'm not upset. It's just you know the the turn of events there um, just <laughs> wasn't the outcome we were looking for. Anything else? Just to go way back for a second, Hamels hasn't 
had control like that since those two stars against Minnesota when he had the blister. Did the blister by any chance pop up against no, him? No, no, no. It wouldn't. It, there wasn't a blister. I just think there was a, a night where Cole was – he was fighting himself. He was getting a little too deep and in the back and trying to get the ball out front. And just, he couldn't get the ball where he wanted to. And um, So it was just – it was a night that, look, pitchers have those kind of nights. Uh, and we took him as far as we felt like we could take him, he, you know, and um, this wasn't his night. 